And now the milk is on the home stretch. In their refrigerated trucks, a silent army of milkmen set out in the wee hours of the morning to deliver their bottled help. Down every street, along every avenue, rolls the Dawn Patrol. In some countries, milk is a very popular drink. In the Netherlands, for example, people drink two liters of milk each week. They think milk makes them strong. However, people in other countries, such as China, may get sick when they drink milk. But it hasn't always been like this. Professor Berger found out that 7,500 years ago, European adults couldn't digest milk. It made them sick. It was very surprising that we found out that in the early Neolithic population of Central Europe we were investigating, none of those were able to digest milk in adulthood. Scientists have found that humans have evolved very quickly to be able to digest milk as adults. To find out how this happened, we must first look at the lactase gene that controls the digestion of milk. There is a sugar in milk called lactose. When we are babies, our body produces an enzyme called lactase, which breaks down lactose, allowing our body to digest milk. However, when we get older, the lactase enzyme is produced only in a few of us, with most people unable to drink milk. Evolutionary biologist Professor Sarah Tishkov explains this. Individuals who express this enzyme as adults, they can break down the sugar in milk called lactose into the components glucose and galactose, and those are rapidly taken up into the bloodstream. However, in most people, the lactase gene is turned off when you get older, so the lactase sugars are not broken down, and milk makes you sick. So what controls whether or not lactase is produced by adult humans? There is a marker which is actually not in the lactase gene, but it's um, some base pairs upstream the lactase gene, but it controls the lactase gene. So it's a T or it's a C, and if it's a T, then this is highly correlated with the ability to digest milk in adulthood. Berger made his discovery when extracting DNA from ancient 7,500-year-old bones. He determined the genetic code of the bones in a special clean laboratory, which keeps contamination out and produces very accurate results. So we cut out a piece of bone, then we powderize it in a mill. And then we do a simple DNA extraction based on phenol, chloroform, wet chemistry. And then we do PCR and we amplify the gene of interest. And then we do DNA sequencing and we get the result and we compare it to modern day people and look where are difference or where are not. Berger compared the DNA from ancient bones to DNA from modern European bones and made a startling discovery in the lactase gene. Whereas in most of the world today, humans carry the C marker and cannot digest milk as adults, in Northern Europe, most people carry the T marker, meaning they can digest milk in adulthood. What was surprising was that in the ancient bones from Northern Europe, the genetic code always revealed the C marker. So Northern Europeans, who lived 7,500 years ago, couldn't digest milk as adults. Northern Europeans must have evolved unusually quickly to digest milk as adults. Usually we think, complex traits like lactase persistence. They develop slowly and they take a couple of 10,000 years or so. But then we see um, a trait that rose in frequency from almost zero to almost 100 within seven and a half thousand years. And, and, and that's very weird. A dietetic must on the Scientists know that the changes in DNA or mutations happen spontaneously meaning that at any time in history, there may have been a few people who were able to digest milk. But with cattle domestication, there was a factor which made the mutation become more common in Northern Europe. So the most likely scenario is that the mutation was there, then the culture of, of farming and dairying spread over Neolithic and it became a positive adaptation, it became positively selected. Those people that were able to digest milk had much better evolutionary fitness. and. Um, so they survived. During the Neolithic period, when farming became common and the use of dairy products increased, lactase became more useful to humans in their struggle for survival and reproduction, so the T mutation spread. Professor Tishkov has been studying a similar phenomenon in Africa, where lactase persistence only evolved in farming communities. 
So if we look at the history of um, cattle domestication based on the archaeological record, it's thought that domestication occurred first in North Africa or the Middle East roughly 7,000 to 10,000 years ago, but wasn't introduced south of the Sahara until about 5,000 years ago, consistent with our estimates in East Africa, and wasn't introduced until quite recently in Southern Africa. In populations that have a tradition of um, cattle domestication and dairying or herding, they're able to drink milk. So it's thought that this may represent a genetic adaptation in these different populations that have cattle. So it's not just in Europe that people evolved to drink milk, it also happened in Africa. Scientists have proven that the development of cattle farming caused humans to evolve far quicker than expected. And this happened in Europe and Africa in less than 8,000 years. That's why the Dutch like milk, but Chinese people don't. Pure wholesome milk. For milk with its bone-building calcium and health-building vitamins fortifies the body and makes America strong by making her citizens strong.